Yes, I'm leaving. Leaving. I'm long gone. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today is week five of my AMD training channels, and, and, and I learned so much this week. AMD had a big booming thing, and I've been doing this for five weeks. Y'all gonna see all these other channels coming in, talking about AMD this, AMD that. Well, I've been on this, and you dreamers that's been subscribed to this channel and left all those thumbs up on, the la on week four, I really appreciate you guys for leaving that thumbs up. It really helps out this channel a lot. Let's try to get to 100 thumbs up in this video just to show a little appreciation. And I really thank you guys a lot. But yeah, man, we been on AMD. We been on AMD. They, AMD boomed this week. It's going to keep booming. And all these other channels is going to come out here talking about, oh, yeah, AMD is such a great. Nah, we been doing this. And I appreciate y'all for sticking tuned to this. But this week right here. This week right here, listen, all right, on the day alone, today alone, AMD, on the Friday, Friday, on Friday, AMD went up 16.5%, up $9.83, and that's when last week AMD had had a dip, but we knew though because we were paying attention to the news and we was paying attention to the stock and the analysis that we've been doing. So if we take a look at the week, this week AMD is up 24 percent almost 25 percent up 13 dollars and 78 cents wow that is a big game in one week from amd so they've been killing it um so today's return on friday i made 446 dollars and 11 cents up 15.51 percent on the day so me on from owning those 47 shares that's that's how much i profited from amd just for me being a long time investing in Andy. But as you guys know, from week four, I was in a trade with three shares and I told you guys that I was gonna sell them. I did sell them. I sold them for a profit. Let's go all the way down. I sold them, I bought those three shares and I sold them at 170.45 at the price of $56.82. $17.18 profit on those three shares. And then I seen some news came out on AMD that was pretty good that we're gonna talk about. And I'm gonna tell you guys a big secret that I learned about um, paying attention to this one company. So stay tuned so you don't miss out. But I bought back in with a trailing stop buy at $56.41 and I ended up selling it the very next day for a profit of around 5% at $61.58 bringing me to a profit of four dollars and 62 cents and that brought my total amd to 21 dollars and 80 cents on this challenge and then on friday i bought another share at 66 dollars and 58 cents and now amd is at 69 dollars and one cents bringing me up to a total of 24 dollars and 32 cents we're going into a 24 dollars and 23 cents profit Math might be a little off here or there, keeping track of all of these numbers. Would I have made more money by just holding on to those three shares all the way up to today? Yes. But just like last week, when AMD went down, I made money then. And when AMD went up, I still made money. The, the, the best part about this is taking profit. You'll never lose money if you take profits. Okay, guys, don't wonder if it's going to go up or down. Uh, fortunately, it kept going up and I kept taking profits on the way up. And then we're gonna talk about what AMD is gonna do next to see when can I buy back into AMD at a good price so I can ride the uh, wave back up again once more news come out. So the reason why AMD shot up so high, let's go take a look at the news. Uh, right, remember right now AMD is at $69.03. At the beginning of the week, AMD was at $55.92. So looking at some of the news, um, at the beginning of the week, July 21st, a lot of people was uh, buying call options on AMD with a strike price of $70. They found that unusual in the AMD option trading world that so many people were buying $70 option calls on AMD. So a bunch of investors were expecting AMD price to shoot up by 
October 16th. So they gave it a couple months out for AMD to reach the price of 70. So a lot of people were betting big money on AMD that would go up over the next couple of months. And what you know, the very next week, AMD is almost at 70 dollars why the first reason why is because amd they released and announced their seven nanometer chips there's the first company to do it and now they're the only company on the market with a seven nanometer chip and then they were going to hp computers hp signed the deal with them that they're going to use their amd chips on their um, laptops and on their computers so that was very big news from amd investors right there that they brought out the seven nanometer uh cpu and they also signed the deal with uh hp so that they could use their processors inside of their new laptops and their computers. So that was a great uh, news article for AMD right there. And once again, another article saying that AMD stock surges uh, to this, this five month high, it's all time high uh, after the announcements of the new chip. Now, let me tell you guys what I learned this week from uh, following one company for the next 52 weeks. The one thing that I found is that you can't just track that one company it, it's you can't just track that one company and let me tell you why you want to track that one company everything that company does their news and their stocks their price and market analysis but you also want to track the news of that company biggest competitor why because in this article right here it says that intel which is amd biggest competitor not nvidia nvidia is like up there with graphics cards and stuff like that but intel and amd is like they're head to head one's red one's blue intel's blue amd is red so they're each other biggest competitor intel seven nanometer uh chips got delayed that the announcement came out this week and now that they got delayed amd has the only seven nanometer chips on the market a, uh, Intel is going to have to they're going to have to shift the production of their seven nanometer chips to outside factories. So that was not good news for Intel at all. In fact, their price dropped 14.5 percent over the last week. And that bad news from Intel boost AMD news um, up to 25 percent in a single week because Intel has such bad news that they were not able to make these chips and AMD put them out and now they're the only one in the market with seven, seven nanometer chips and Intel chips even got delayed. So companies that are building computers or laptops for the schools, a lot of people are gonna be working from home. So a lot of schools are gonna be donating or giving laptops out to the kids and they're gonna have to uh, have CPUs in them. And since Intel are out, out the game, they don't have no CPUs with that kind of processing power. AMD is the only one on the market, so that price is gonna go up. So that's the biggest thing I learned from this trading challenge um, this week was that don't only pay attention to AMD, also pay attention to that company's biggest competitor. So that was the news article from this week. Let's dive into the market analysis right quick on Thinkorswim, the charts. Once again, I use the Robinhood app. If you guys wanna sign up for Robinhood, that link will be down in the description. You can sign up. Uh, once you sign up, you get a free share. And if you want some more free shares, I'll leave a link down to Weeble down in the description. You click that and deposit $100, you could get two free shares. And who knows, you might get two free shares of AMD over on Weeble. But let's pull up the market ana analysis right quick. All right, guys, here we are on AMD. I have the four hour, 180 day chart pulled up. Let's zoom out right quick. All right, so here we go. These were the charts that I drew back on week one through four. It's been staying true so far. AMD did break above the old resistance line. Let's draw that line out right there, right there. And then it's still on the uptrend. So it got to the top and it was probably gonna bounce back a little bit to the 180 day simple moving average. But the news from Intel came out and it just went skyrocket. So let's zoom in right here so it broke above the old resistance line that resistance line right there that we drew it broke above it and it pulled back to the resistance line and then once it bounced off that resistance line it had a strong green bar right there it had an inverted hammer looking right there and then it dropped down just a little bit and then skyrocketed right back up to its all-time high of 69 dollars and 94 cents amd is overbought right now I believe it's overvalued, um, a great value for AMD. If Intel doesn't come out with any good news 
in the next couple of days, I could see AMD shooting up to $80, all right? It could go from $70, which is pretty much at right now, all the way up to $80, where it might be at the end of next week. But if Intel announces, hey, it's only gonna be about a week before we, we produce our seven nanometer chips, I believe that this old resistance line will become AMD new support line. And I do not believe that it will fall below $59. I do not, I don't believe it will fall below $59 over for the next year or so. It could pull back. The last time AMD spiked up right here, it spiked all the way up for a percent gain of 40% within just two weeks. It had a pull back, back down to the 180 day simple moving average the last time it had spiked up. And this is the same thing. It spiked up around 20, almost 28%. And I can see it pulling back to this old resistance line, which will become its new support line. And I will be buying in more F AMD at around 58, 60 ish dollars. Um, the MACD is super high right now. It could trade sideways for a little bit, but if it crosses back down, that's a good indication that I might be able to get in for a cheaper price. If it stays up, then I might just have to just go ahead and spend the extra money and buy AMD at a super expensive price, but it is overvalued right now. Uh, no matter what the price is at, I want it to fall somewhere back down around 50 on the RSI, hopefully below 30 on the RSI. And if the price is around 50, I mean, if the price is around 60 bucks and it's a down here at the 30 at the RSI, that's a good indication for me to buy back in. But that's all on the market analysis this week since it had a, a very big breakthrough from the beginning of this week to the end of this week up 25%. So that is um, AMD on the Thinkorswim platform. All right, guys, and we're back. Um, so I told you guys one of the big things I learned from this video, don't just track the company that you're keeping track of, also track its biggest competitor. Now I do own around 48 shares of AMD um, by the end of this challenge. Hopefully I can own a full 100 shares of AMD. So I am gonna be buying shares at AMD no matter what the price is, just because I wanna own 100 shares of AMD so I could do some um, some sell puts on AMD so I could collect more residual income, more passive income that way. But I'm always gonna announce something when I'm gonna buy something so I could trade it that's going towards this um, weekly tracking challenge that we're doing on AMD. But on the other hand, I'm also gonna buy AMD no matter what, just to get it to 100 shares of stock because I wanna get it there so I could do some sell put options on AMD. But other than that, guys, uh, all the links will be down in the descriptions. Grab your two free stocks on Weeble. Grab your free share on uh, Robinhood. And while you're down there grabbing those free shares, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let's try to get to 100 um, thumbs up in this video. You guys smashed it last time with 70 likes. I think you guys was around 200 likes. That is awesome. And hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. We told, we told them. We told them about AMD. And, and here come everybody else. I guarantee here come everybody else. But uh, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.